It was just two weeks ago, just two weeks ago, that Emmanuel Faber had stepped down from the CEO role to remain as chairman. And we'd heard from those activist shareholders that had been voicing the concerns at Danone since the beginning of the year, uh, saying that this was not enough as a change in the management, that a new CEO in this configuration wouldn't have the latitude enough to change the direction of the strategy at the group. And it just it took just two weeks for the board to follow uh, this opinion. And now Emmanuel Faber leaving uh, the group. And look, there had been some trouble was at Danone uh, before the COVID crisis, uh, some problems at the European Dairy Division, for example. They had announced uh, some changes and then the COVID crisis impacted some of their star businesses, like the water business with restaurants being closed and people working from home, for example. So they announced a strategic review just last year, just in November, with uh, reviewing their portfolio, cutting some jobs. But a lot of activist shareholders and some shareholders said that was not enough, uh, pointing that this was a new reorganization, just the fifth reorganization of the company in seven years and that more needed to be done and it died light with the CEO Emmanuel Faber and just last year we saw the shares at Danone down 30% in 2020 very much underperforming its performance uh, competitors Nestle and Unilever so now it'll be interesting to see what happens the CEO of International and CEO of North America will lead the company while the board is looking for a new CEO the Danone board mentioning that they still believe in the necessity to combine high economic performance and the respect of Danone's unique model of a purpose-driven company. So it'll be interesting what happens to this. We know that Danone named themselves an entreprise and mission, believing their social, economic, and environmental uh, responsibilities. So it'll be interesting to see what happens to this in the future, because that had been the hallmark of Emmanuel Faber going ahead. But we see for the moment this positive reaction in the Danone shares on the back of this announcement of Emmanuel Faber leaving, who had been CEO since 2014, with the shares up 4.5% on the CAC 40.